Hi, uh, we're the cast of The Walking Dead. And today we're going to answer your fan questions. Hairspray. <laughs> Eyes of the zombie, nobody's ever proven that it doesn't work. I'm going to take a gun with some bullets, lots of bullets. <laughs> There's my bullet maker. My weapon of choice, Sean Patrick Flannery. I could just throw him in the middle of it and he would put them all in headlocks and put them to sleep. I'm strangely comfortable with it. The lady in uh, in the Aliens movie, this Gatling gun that she, that she just carried on her hip. I just want to mow things down. Whatever you're going to do, do it fast. Is there a prop? I guess a, a Lucille or the leather jacket would be uh, Negan's choices. Sweetheart, lay your eyes on this. You know what I would keep if I were you? I would keep those little spats that you wear over your boots. I know. They could be they could be dipped in some sort of the same stuff they put the bodies in. Yeah. I got a little bit of spat envy, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got bat envy, you got spat envy. <laughs> Teddy bear from the pilot episode. Like from I would put that episode. on the wall. Right? That deserves a place on your wall. That would go in here with uh, Ezekiel's feathers, right here. I mean, I've taken a bunch of crossbows already. I have, I think I have like nine crossbows. And I think it's a felony to own one. So I could be in trouble. If I could play another character in the Walking Dead universe, I'd probably play Michonne. Are you coming or not? Michonne would be hard to talk because She's just so cool. Everything's in slow motion. The hair's flying in slow motion. Yeah, Chaka. I'm gonna go Eugene. I wanna say Eugene. He's the kind of guy who'll bring jackfruit to a banana party. You know what I mean? He's just a different kind of dude. He makes me laugh so much. I don't even know what you call this. I'm gonna call it a Grimbley gunk. Then I'm also thinking like my new pal, Princess. Wait, for real? Princess. She always looks like she's having a good time. I love that character being in this world. Watch how helpful I can be. Well, is he? If he is still alive, it's because of Maggie. If he's not alive, it's because of Maggie. Any pranks or shenanigans, there's a bunch. I filled Andy Lincoln's trailer with roosters one day. He put my motorcycle on a flat barge and pushed it out in the middle of a lake once. I spilled his air conditioner in his, in his little Prius with glitter, like pounds of glitter. You're still going, dude. <laughs> How much did you <laughs> put in here? So much in there. Have a nice ride home in the heat, bro. I'm sweating. What can I tell you about The Walking Dead spinoff with Daryl and Carol? I can't tell you a whole lot about the spinoff. I can tell you that it won't look anything like The Walking Dead. It won't It won't look like an episode of Walking Dead with just Daryl and Carol. It'll be completely different. Should we have matching bracelets now? Oh my God, forget it. I think the don't look at the flowers scene with Melissa. Just look at the flowers, Lizzie. <laughs> Lenny James or Melissa McBride. The idea that neither one of them won, won an Emmy for this show is, is unconscionable. Final episode of season 10, there was this really cool uh, camera move. It was really exciting because everything had to be just perfect and precise. They really killed it. Can I describe the final season in one word. One word? Unexpected. Collision. Divergent. Surprising. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. We finish together. 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 Happy Comic Con, everybody. I uh, can't wait to uh, share a Comic Con with you guys in person soon. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the season. It's a big one. And thank you for being such uh, cool fans and people all these years. It's been great.